Hey guys, it's Dwight. Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually gonna do a pour today. It's been about two, two and a half weeks. It seems like it's been a lifetime. So yeah, I was traveling on a riverboat cruise in Europe. I went to Paris um, through Germany, ended up in Prague. I got home last night around nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so I'm a little tired today, so we'll see what I can come up with. But I was inspired by a restaurant I went to in Prague, and their decorations were Art Deco, and they had the beautiful colors of turquoise, um, sort of like a burgundy color, as well as gold. So I'm gonna use that today on a, uh, it's a large canvas, 30 by 40. I'm sorry, uh, 24 by 30, but I wanna do it on a 30 by 40. Uh, I just wanna see how these colors play together. Um, and I have some paint um, that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using folk art, and I believe a little bit of Arteza in the mix here. So I'm gonna go upstairs in my studio, get the canvas prepped, and get ready to do this pour. So I hope you stay tuned, and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, here I am back in my studio, and I mix my paints. So I have this interesting um, color palette today. Um, I did mention sort of this turquoise, burgundy, and gold, although this is more of a bronze. I did add some gold to it. So we'll see. It's, you know, kind of interesting color palette. Uh, I hope it doesn't turn muddy. So I put a little bit of white, that's Artist Loft Soft Body White. Um, I'm gonna put that on the bottom of the puddles. And I say puddles plural because what I'm gonna do today is something different, which you'll see in just a few moments, and we'll see um, the effect and see what it does. And yeah, so a little bit of a surprise. Okay, hold on, let me prep the canvas, we'll get started. Hey guys, I am back for the wet walkthrough. I am really excited about this painting. You know, I wasn't too sure that that sort of bronzy color would be too muddy, but I think it offers enough of a contrast between the red and the blue and the white. 
So um, I did something different today, as you noticed. I did four puddles, and then I um, poured the black in the middle and moved it across the canvas. Now, if you hear this meowing in the background, that's my cat, Max. Um, I think he missed me from being away for two weeks. So you might hear him interrupting us for a moment here. Now I used a, a mixture of different paints. I can't really tell you exactly which ones I've used. They were a mixture of Arteza and Artist Loft, um, I'm sorry, um, Deco Arts, Americana brand. The white was Artist Loft Soft Body White. That was just plain old white. And I'm glad I used it because I almost didn't use it, but it gives enough of the definition you can see the movement. I, I really, I really like the movement. It looks really pretty. Um, yeah, so let me move in and show you some close-ups to this. Ooh, I almost dropped my phone. So it's very interesting, some of these cells. It's it's not, um, you know, it's not the typical cells, but look, you got the blue mixed in here within the red. So what I go for in these pores is composition. I mean, I really think um, the composition in this is really, really nice. Um, I'm not quite sure what to call it. I was thinking sort of like Starburst or reminded me of an octopus or something. Let me move over here. Now this end has more of sort of the bronze and the red mixed in, but I like it. Um, it doesn't compete with the negative space. And then this area right here is beautiful as well. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna dry as is. I, I don't see any more movement on here. I think it's pretty set and I'm pretty happy. So that was a nice pour. I ran out of Floetrol. This was all the Floetrol I had today. So I, speaking of Floetrol, just to remind you how I mix my paints real quick. I use about one part paint, two to three parts Floetrol, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium and then water uh, to thin. Okay, I'll move in one more time, show you a little bit more before I finish. There you go. I'm glad the white came in around here as well. I think it just sort of pulls you right in. Wow, I'm really happy with this. It turned out great. Okay, friends, um, I'm trying to get one done this weekend. I, I'm going to be going out of town again, just overnight. And... I usually don't work on Fridays, but since I've been away, I'm working Friday to get caught up. And um, yeah, have a great start to the weekend. Okay, guys, we'll see you real soon. Thanks for sharing your time with me and take care.